So hey, what's going on guys? It's Tukan here, back with another video. Today's a special episode because usually we take a look at one specific meme, but in this video I wanted to take a look at a specific type of meme. But before I start the video, I do want to mention that I have exams coming up, which will mean that I will not be able to upload as frequently as usual, even though I don't really upload frequently. And also I do have to give a shout out to GFX Designer. Some of you have probably seen it, but my picture has changed, so has my banner. If you guys haven't, well, they're on screen right now. As you can see, they're epic. They're legit awesome. So the link of the creator will be down below. If you guys can just go subscribe and like show him some love, it'll be much appreciated. And now let's actually get on with the video. So that was a free meme format. I want you guys to actually screenshot that and we'll make a meme out of it. You can send it to me through Discord. My Discord link will be in the description, so meme ahead. Now that my shameless plug is out of the way, let's start with the explanation. I think many of you know what presentation memes are, if not all of you, but if you don't, here are some examples. As you can see, these memes are various photos where, well, a presentation is used and someone photoshops something in the presentation to make it funny. Yay! Now let's talk about the history behind the meme. The first time it was used was back in 2012. So during the General Assembly of the United Nations, the Israeli Prime Minister gave a speech about Iran's nuclear bomb progression. Wow, did I forget? Did I really just forget? Yeah, uh, I have a script down below for those who don't know. And for this presentation, the Prime Minister used a picture of a bomb, as you can see on screen right now. So of course, many people on Twitter started talking about the presentation, and not really about the contents, but more about the drawing of the bomb. But it was 4chan who actually started memeing the presentation, with some hilarious edits for its time. These are actually well done memes, and would still fit to this day. Because as you know, in 2012, these types of memes were considered funny. So it's amazing to see how ahead of its time 4chan actually was when creating these memes. And then the second time the presentation was used as a meme was four years later, in 2016. This time it was Donald Trump who got memed. And it's not the last time you'll see him in this video because, well, Trump got memed a lot. Donald Trump was giving a speech about home ownership and he showed a graph representing the home ownership percentage of the United States. And then this was turned into a meme by no one other than... Now I have to read my script. Rob Flaherty, hope I didn't mispronounce his name. He was Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign's deputy digital communications director. Very long title, I know. He posted this picture to Twitter with the caption, go to town folks, which basically means have fun. People of course started memeing the picture as that's what Rob asked for. But honestly, these memes don't seem as good as the 4chan memes that were made four years ago. I really disappointed Twitter. Well, three years ago Twitter, but still I'm disappointed. Now I'm gonna go a bit faster because well, there's a lot of other examples of memes that were famous, but I don't really wanna talk about every single one because then we would have like a 40 minute video that would not really be interesting. One of the other examples is the Bernie Sanders meme, which I think recently got sparked again for like a month. We also had this TED talk about gaming that was famous, and then this Paul Ryan PowerPoint presentation. Now let's talk about the Lisa Simpson presentation, which I think is what many of you came for. I do have to give a shout out to Deppman and that one. These two people requested the meme and that's why I'm doing this video. So if you want me to do a specific video or you have a specific meme that you want me to talk about, be sure to comment them below and I'll see what I can do. So if you haven't guessed it yet, Lisa's presentation is from the very famous TV show, The Simpsons. The episode where Lisa gives a presentation first aired in 2001. In the episode Bye Bye Nerdy, which is the episode where the presentation comes from, Lisa gave a presentation on the history of bullying much as I'm giving a presentation on the history of memes right now. That, that, that was, that, that sounded better in my head. In 2018, Thomas22Howie 
posted a screenshot of the Lisa presentation to r slash meme economy. He told the subreddit that it was a good meme to invest in, and clearly he was right. It was a good meme to invest in. And one of the first memes in this format was posted to r slash dank memes by... My pee pee feels silly. Did I really just have to say that? This was the meme in question. Why sucking dick doesn't make you gay by the mods. Well, as some of you know, there's this running joke on r slash dank memes where the mods are gay. You can make the connection now. Other memes posted to r slash dank memes included why I don't need therapy and why anime was a mistake. What you do notice that's different about this meme compared to the one from 2016 or 2012 is that this one actually gives titles to a presentation as if Lisa was going to present that instead of the first ones where the joke is that, well, Donald Trump holds a picture of a cat, yay, ha 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 ha, very funny 2016, no thank you. But the Lisa presentation meme wasn't the first one to become, well, a format like this. That number one spot goes to, you guys are just mean, which is a similar meme format, but it got famous two months before Lisa's, so I'm sorry Lisa, you're just not number one. But the most recent meme format of, well, presentation memes dates back to January of this year. The Chingford Foundation School posted this picture to Twitter. Of course, a picture like this went viral. People started retweeting this and, well, making memes of it. It was only one day later that you underscore r underscore a bold one, nice play, posted the picture to r slash meme economy. He basically told people that the Lisa format was out because it was outdated and that the Spider-Man format was in, as in in-dated? No? Ha 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 ha. Am I now an Instagram comedian? Even Instagram wouldn't fall that low. The post got almost 50,000 likes in one month and as you could have guessed, the meme became a meme. And this is where the video ends. I hope you guys enjoyed the somewhat longer video as I usually make very short videos. Just let me know what you prefer in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. But before I end the video, I do have to rate this meme. And for that, I wanna go back to my board. So, I'm at my board. Um, to rate this meme, I wanna rate it a limit of X to infinity of X. I hope you guys did your homework because um, I'm not gonna solve it now. I am gonna solve it, however, in the next video. So be sure to subscribe, subscribe and like, I guess. I actually forgot what to say. Give me a thumbs up. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Um, bye.